A fire safety inspector related the following story to me. A few years ago, he said, in the middle of the night in a senior care facility, the fire alarm sounded. Thinking it was a false alarm, a staff member turned the alarm off and went back to her paperwork. But the alarm signal had already gone to the monitoring station, who in turn called the fire department. In a few minutes, fire rescue came rushing in the door. They were met by the nurse who said, it's just a false alarm, it's just a false alarm. Seeing no smoke or fire, the firefighter said, we'll look anyway, as they went down the hallways. A little ways down the hall, firemen saw smoke coming from under a door of one certain resident's room. As they approached the room and opened the door, they were met by a cloud of smoke bellowing out the room. Entering the room, they found a little patient in that smoke-filled room, lifeless and not breathing. Unable to resuscitate her, they transported the resident to the hospital where she was declared dead on arrival. Smoke inhalation. The facility had got the warning, an alarm, but chose to turn it off, to ignore it. So we too in life have warnings from the Lord, warnings from the Spirit of God about the direction of our life many times. Sadly, we too turn off those warnings. We turn off the voice of God who wants to help us. And rather than listen, we go our own way. To be sure, when we ignore the help of a loving God, the consequences are never good. May God give us an ear to listen to the direction and the help of God. God bless you.